hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm making a short free gown with um a long sleeve that has an elastic thread attached to it please make sure to like this video share comment and subscribe thank you so here's my paper that i'll be drafting it on first of all before transferring it on my fabric so i i used a cello tape to join um my paper so that it will be up to my length so i already made a straight line here for and that is going to serve as my starting point so on here i'm going to take three inches for my neckline but i advise you take three and a half for, for your neckline and then my shoulder measurements which is 15 inches divided by two plus half inch that would be it so on that eight i came down by a one inch and then i'm going to use my ruler to connect um from that one inch i came down with i'm going to connect it to the three inches that i have so from this line here i'm going to be taking my arm hole and i'm taking eight inches for that my arm hole measurements And then I'm going to be taking my my shoulder to bust point. So I placed my tape on the initial line that I drew, not on the one inch I came down with, but on the, on my original line. And then I marked 11 inches here, and this is going to serve as my bust point. So I'll just go ahead and mark the 11 inches along. Then after that, I'm going to mark from my shoulder to my waistline. On that, from that same point, I'm going to mark 17 inches, which serves as my waist point. And then after that, from my waist point, I'm going to go down by nine inches. You can measure from your waist to your hip point to find out um, yours but for mine it is nine inches you can check out my uh, video on how to take your body measurements so that you'll be able to do this now i'm taking my gown length my dress length and my dress length i made it for two in um sorry 14 inches plus one and a half inches for sorry plus one inch for um, hemming but I later made it I'm a little trusting this to 38 inches now I'm just connecting the point and this point here that I just connected is my chest point so I'm going to mark remember we have eight inches here so I'm going to mark that inch eight inches all along my armhole so that I can draw a straight line to mark my armhole to draw my armhole so I'm just connecting the dots. So on this line here, I have my ch chest line. Then this second line here, I have my bust line. And then the next line is my waist point line. My waist line. The third one is my hip line. And then this last one here is my um, dress length or my gown length. So I'm going to be drawing my armhole here. Um, I'll first of all draw my front armhole. So I'm just dividing um, the eight that I have here into two, which is going to be four inches. So I mark that there. And then on that four inches line, I'm going to go in by half an inch. And then on my chest line here, I'm taking my bust measurement divided by four. And then what I have, I added half inch because I want this gown to be um, a free gown, so I don't want it to be tight. So I added extra half inch to it, and that is what I have marked here. And then I'm going to join the three lines together, starting from this point here. I'll join into this point. I'm just um, drawing a straight line and then I'm going to use my French curve to draw the curve. So this is how you 
um you draw your front armhole now i'm just making sure that there are no sharp edges i'm just making sure that i have points all around so this is for my front armhole then for my back armhole i'll simply connect the four inches i have here to my chest line that is just simply how to you know draw your back armhole So here now I have my front and here I have my back armhole. Now coming to my bust line, I'm going to take my bust measurement divided by 4 and what I have, I'm going to add extra half an inch to it. Now I added half an inch um, on all my measurements because I want my gown to be free, I don't want it to be tight on me now on the waistline here i'm not taking any measurements because it's a free gown so i just left my waistline and then on my hip line i'm going to take my hip measurement divided by four and then i'm going to be adding extra half an inch again just for allowance not sewing allowance but just to make the gown free and not tight on me Now coming to my gown length, I'm going to measure what I have on my hip line here. For instance, I have 11 and a half inches on my hip line. I'm going to bring that same 11 and a half inches all the way to the length of my dress and I'm going to mark that 11 and a half inches on there. So now I'm just going to connect my lines without, I'm just going to connect from my bust line to my hip line. Remember, we don't have any measurement on the waistline. And then from the hip line, I'm going to connect it down to my gown length. I know that this line here seems like our dress is shapeless or something, but just trust the process. It's going to look um, better after making it and when you wear it, okay? So this is the line that we have here. No curve, nothing, nothing, just like a straight line. Then I'm just going to connect it to my chest line, my bust line to my chest line. So coming over to my neckline, um, I'm going to take 3 inches and this is for my front neckline. So I'm just going to take 3 inches and then I'm going to connect it to the 3 inches we have um, at the starting of our measurements. I'm just going to connect these 3 inches to my shoulder. And that is for my front neckline and then for the back I am going to be having one inch and then I'll connect it the same way so here now I have my back and I have my front um, neckline so this is my back this is for my front neckline so yeah now coming over to draw my side dart i'm gonna start from my chest line all the way to my waist line then i'm going to find the midpoint and that is four inches because the difference between my chest line and my waist line is eight inches so the mid is going to be four inches so i marked that four inches and then on my bust line I'm going to mark my nipple to nipple measurements which, which is 8 inches divided by 4 which is sorry divided by 2 that is 8 divided by 2 which is 4 then I'm going to mark a straight line to connect um, the 4 inches the 4 inches so after marking after connecting that I went down by 1 inch and that is the mark you, um, you can see there and then on on there i am marking half inches on the two sides making it a total of one inch so from one side of the half inch i marked i'm going to connect it to one inch i came down with then i'm going to connect the second half inch So when you measure this, you are going to have one inch because you have half an inch on both sides. So here you have one inch, half an inch, 
cut on both sides. So that one inch that I have here, I will go down to my dress length and mark it there. So that when so that when I sew, when I take in my dad, I wouldn't be short of fabric, but I'll, I'm gonna do that later. So I'm extending the mid points, um, the middle line. And then I'm going to mark from the centimeter side, I'm going to mark one centimeter. Mind you, not from the inch side, but from the centimeter side, that is the other part, the other side of the tip. I'm taking one centimeter and I'm going to connect it to the bottom line. And after, after connecting to connecting it to the bottom line I'm going to connect it to my bust line on the other side I just connect it to my bust line now there are many um, ways to do this but this is my method this is the way I do my side that so I'm just let me I'm just gonna draw this other line to be more visible yeah so now it is very visible so this is how my dart is so you can see this now then when i fold it in to you know sewing my dart i am not short of fabric you can see how um the former line is assuming i do not add the extra it wouldn't align with it will not align when i sew in my dart but with the extra one inch that i added it will align properly when i sew in my dart So you can see it now it aligns properly so yeah that is it for marking um my side darts so now i'm just adding half inch all around i'm adding half inch on my shoulder half inch on my chest line half inch on my waistline half inch on my hip line half inch on my gown length and on the bottom here i'm adding one inch for my hemming I'm just gonna add half inch here for my hemming allowance and then I'll just connect the dots that I have all through so this line here now is my sewing allowance of half an inch so on my dart I am also going to mark half an inch on the highest point there I'll add my half an inch there and then on my bust line I am also adding half an inch so I'll connect the half an inch that I have on my waistline to the highest point here and then I'll also connect it to my bust line. So after doing this I figured that it didn't really look how I wanted it to look. So I went ahead to adjust adjust it but before that I'll also add half an inch on my chest line and then connect it to my bust line so to adjust this I'm um, from this side here that I am pointing I'm gonna add half an inch and then I'll connect it to the highest point that I have here and then I'm going to also connect it to my waistline. So now this is perfect. This is how my dart, your dart is supposed to look like. So this line that I'm just canceling, I'm going to cut it off when I am cutting. So I'm going to add this, I have one inch here. As you can see so I'm going to add it to my to my gown length so here I'm adding the one inch here and then I'm going to mark is um, a slanted line not very straight but kind of slanted I'm going to connect it to my mid point so this is how my line is So the, this here now is my dart allowance. So when I fold my dart in like this, that dart allowance is going to go in and look normal.
<laughs> so I'm just gonna connect the points on my shoulder line. And then on my on the bottom of my dress, I'm also going to continue marking my half inch for sewing allowance. And then I'll go ahead and connect it. So after that, I'll now have to cut. So while cutting this, I'm going to leave the shoulder to chest line because I'm cutting for the front part first. And that is so because of the dart extension I have. So now I'm going to place this and cut out for my front part without cutting from my shoulder to my bust to my chest line rather and this is it i've gone ahead to cut for my front part and i'm going to come back and cut from my shoulder to my bust to my chest line so i'll just unpin it and take away my front part And after that, I'm going to, I'm going to cut um, my back. Well, before then, I'm going to remove this that extension I have so I can be able to cut for my my back piece because there's no extension at the back. So I'll just make this that side straight. And then I'm going to cut this um, one inch I added for my that because i'm cutting for the back now so i don't need this the only thing i have here now is um, my sewing allowance then i'm going to cut my back arm hole now this is why i cut out the front first before the back because if i try to cut out the back the front first i'm going to cut off my back arm hole and we don't want that so I'll just unpin it and and here I have my back piece so here now it's for the back side of my dress so I'm going to go ahead and cut up cuts from the shoulder to the chest line of my front piece so I first of all cut the armhole and then I'll cut the neckline and then I'll place it again I'll place this paper again on my on my front piece and then cut both my neckline and my armhole so this hair now is my front my front piece So you can see the dart extension we have here. This will make it very much easier to sew on um, the dart when I want to sew it. Now this is the bottom. So here, I have already gone ahead to sew my dart. You can see it at the back. I went ahead to sew on my dart. So you can see now how straight the side is after sewing on my dart. I'm not sh um there is no shortage of fabric it is just straight and neat so i was able to do this on my fabric by taking out um the paper first of all i folded my fabric into two um i folded it to the wrong side and then I marked from my shoulder to my bust line and then the same measurement I marked it on my fabric and then marked my 4 inch and then connected and sewed in my two darts. So for the back piece I want to add my keyhole um, my keyhole because this um, this dress is not going to have a zip, so it's going to have 
a button so that um, my head can pass through it easily. So after folding it, I'm going to take 3 inches, um, 4 inches rather, and then I'm going to draw a semicircle. And I'll cut it off and then opening it this is how it's looking like so I'll just go ahead and and hem the keyhole first and after hemming it I'm going to attach I'm going to join the shoulders by half an inch now I have a precise video on how to sew um, a keyhole neckline or uh, a round neckline you can check it out this is the end result and you can see how neat it is so i've already done that i also attached my button to it so if you want to know how i did this please check out my previous video so now i'm going to turn my um, my clothes over to the wrong side that is right side facing right side and then I will, i'm going to join the side by um half an inch on both sides and after that i'm going to hem the bottom part by one inch by folding it two times and sewing it all around so i have done that i have joined the two sides and i have also hemmed the bottom part of my dress and you can see how my dress is looking it's already coming out so the only thing that is remaining is to join um, is to cut off cut the sleeves and attach it to my dress so to do that, I'm going to measure around my armhole and after measuring it all around, I got 22 inches. So this is this is um, my sleeve. So the length, I have 25 and a half inches. The actual measurement is 23 inches and then one and a half inches for hemming and for joining. And then I already have my inverted S here which when measured i have um like 11 and a half inches that is 22 inches divided by 2 plus extra half inch for sewing so the width here i have 14 inches which is my round sleeve measurement divided by 2 which is 7 then i added 7 and a half inches and i marked that 7 and a half inches all the way to the length because i want to um um i want the sleeve to an elastic thread so i'm just cutting off the excess now mind you i just joined some fabric because my fabric was not it seemed this was not going to be enough for the kind of sleeve i wanted but i was able to achieve it thankfully so i'll just fold it into two and create a notch at the midpoint So I'll just create a, a notch here at the midpoint with my scissors and then I'll go ahead and join turn it right side facing right side and join it by half an inch from here all the way down I'll join it by half an inch and I'll also hem the bottom part but before I do that I'll first of all join the bottom part by folding, folding it into two and after that I will measure four or five inches and sew on my elastic thread now this I'll just insert roll on the elastic thread on my bobby you can see I've hemmed the bottom part so I'll just sew my elastic thread on here by just um, putting it on my bobbin by hand and then using it um, sewing on it so here I have this share effect on my sleeve and that is what I wanted so I already did that for my both sleeves now to join it on my fabric I'm going to look for the side of the mid points on the side of my dress 
then i'm going to attach it to not the not the place i notched but the other side not the notch part but the other, other side i'm going to join it to my um to my dress and then use my pin to pin it all around and this is it i've pinned it all around and then i'll go to my sewing machine and sew it all around and then i'll do the same for the other side of my sleeve and that is just it so yeah this is the end result looking very fine so this is it for how to make this beautiful gown please make sure to like this video share comment and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel and i'll see you in my next video bye